What is up, everyone? How are we doing today, huh? Looking a little different. Looking a little different. Oh, we got ourselves the Nintendo Diddy Direct Diddy. I'm excited. I wasn't gonna stream this originally. I was like, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna stream this, but decided last minute I'm gonna do it. I think announce the next switch. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no way. <laughs> They're not announcing crap like that, man. No way. <sighs> That's some delicious, delicious salty water. Get my element tea in the morning, baby. Let's see if I can compete with wood. <laughs> I can be honest, I saw, I saw uh, beat em ups and all these guys were streaming this. I'm like, I want to stream it too. I want to stream it too. It's important. It's fun. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, I just, uh, dude, I poor sleep last night. Like, you know, fall, falling apart because I'm got, a, you know, eight month old who's screaming in the night. <laughs> oh man. This is Live Cup sixty nine, by the way. This is this was such a last minute. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, we're good to go. All right, who's here? Who's here? Who's hanging out today? We have uh, Elden Ring switch port today calling. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want right now. I want the most, like, incorrect predictions. Give me the most incorrect predictions in the uh, in the chat right now. That's what I want. Incorrect predictions only. <laughs> Good afternoon. That's impossible. Game Pass on Switch. All right, all right. Give more. I want more incorrect. More incorrect, dude. I want more. That's so, that, that's fun. I don't know why that's so funny to me. An incorrect uh, thing. Mega boy, morning, dude. I'm heading out to the door right now to your home area. First time in Seattle. We'll be in Seattle ever area for the next week watching Major League Table Tennis. Have fun. Dude, sick, Mega. That's rad. Switch 2? Okay. Last of Us Part 3 Nintendo Switch via Cloud Play. There it is. Now, now we're cooking, dude. Now we're cooking. That's good. <laughs> Call of Duty on Switch. That's more realistic. That could actually happen. Nintendo partnering with Anvernick for a new handheld console. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> That's funny. Half-Life Alex on Switch. <laughs> oh. The First of Us Part 2. <laughs> That's a dad joke right there. Getting Power World on Switch reveal. Currently making an arrow press. Oh, nice. Let's make a copy. I'm not doing arrow press right now. I'm actually doing um, a coat. Oh, Billy Bob Thorne. I'm doing a going Kalita today. Julian, being an ambassador for Nintendo. <laughs> Are you hyped for 7 Rebirth? Yeah, man. I'm super hyped for Rebirth. Oh my god. I can't, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome.
They're announcing GTA 5 poor on <laughs> Phil Spencer simulator switch. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Phil Spencer was a part of this, if I'm being honest. I haven't kept too close on a lot of the rumors because I don't care about rumors. The only rumors that I care about are uh, is my Fleetwood Mac rumors album. My vinyl. That's the only rumor I care about. Son of a gun. Golly. I'm making my super coffee this morning, so this is this is not even my this is gonna be this is not this is kind of my junk coffee. It's from a it's just old. Pokemon Let's Go Joho, what's that? Was that a different region? Look at me, what do I know? Oh. I didn't bring a dump cup for my water. Kalinga, coffee bean here in the Philippines. Philippines, okay. Finally catching stream. I missed the one last night. Last night was fun. Last night was real fun. chilling all right uh, here we go it's a big cup today 30 grams so originally i was just gonna make like a cup like i was gonna do a cup video about stuff but i'm like you know what i don't wanna <laughs> i'd rather just stream it Nest Cafe. What coffee are you guys drinking today? Let's get this going. cozy in there my guy it is it is baby switch to OLED announced today I actually don't think even switch to game get announced yeah, I don't, dude, I don't even know what we're going to get today, if I'm being honest. I just, I like Nintendo. I mean, I love Nintendo. They're my favorite. Yesterday, I had this, like, experience, this, like, <laughs> otherworldly experience with the Steam Deck. I uh, I streamed yesterday, last night the Steam Deck, and I was like, holy cow, dude, it, like, it's great. It's just docked up, dude. I was using my the 8-bit Dell Pro 2 control or uh, ultimate controller, and it was it crushed. It absolutely crushed. So let's get up to 300. 300, baby. We need some FPS, more FPS shooters on Switch. Really? Bring back Game Boys and make it modern. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I was at Canada Computers yesterday. Canada Computers. You have Doom. Yeah, there you go. Doom, I guess, one of the greatest. Canada Computer. Okay. Are you going to buy indies on Steam Deck instead of Switch now? Yes. 
Yes, I am. If it's available on the Steam Deck versus the Switch, I am more inclined to buy it on the Steam Deck for two reasons. One, the Switch is at the end of its life cycle, and why would I want to have a game that I just purchased on a system that is going to be, for better, for rendered obsolete here shortly? Um, and two, I want to play it on the better hardware. There you go, big. Make that pour over. Look at this brew bed. It's pretty solid, actually. 244 pull drop down. Not bad. Let's roll for the cups. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're running a two. I forgot my stir stick. Black coffee from Starbucks. Hey, you know what, dude? It's okay. So this right here is coconut palm sugar and MCT oil. This right here is collagen. And then we take this guy and we... And because I don't eat for the first like six hours of my day, this is my breakfast. The sugar is probably not necessary. I usually don't do the sugar, but today I was feeling a little bit sweet. And uh, we're good. And now I have my super coffee. I'm drinking my LMNT, I have my electrolytes, as well as my salt in the morning. 1,000 milligrams of salt to get my day started. Got to take care of the brain. Thank you, Andrew Huberman. And now that we've done that, we can enjoy our delicious cup of coffee. Pour off some for everybody, huh? 11 minutes to go. Indeed. Indeed, 11 minutes to go. Let me make sure everything's set up properly so that we have a, a good showing. A Nino. All right, welcome to the welcome to the chat, guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, it's really simple. Like the stream, number one. Number two, you can take it a step further. You can you can become a channel. You can become a subscriber. And if you subscribe today, you get to talk in the chat. That's pretty cool. Today is a subscriber only chat 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 chat. <laughs> If you want to take it one step further, you can become a member, and then you're going to be a part of the members-only chats, which are the night streams. I'm going to count once out. three like the stream great that helps me out that's actually the most effective way you can help the channel subscribe 
if you want more of this stuff. It's not all going to be, I said it was going to all be Nintendo, it's not. Oh, yeah. And last would be to um, become a channel member that supports the channel directly. What happened to the Kingdom Hearts playthrough? Uh, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Don't worry. We'll get back to it. Last night was cool. Last night was uh, Steam Deck, baby. That was sick. That was super sick. Is there a cup coming today? This is the live cup, baby. This is it, ASX. Live cup. Chatting. Having a good time. Yo, yo, what's up, Justin? This is a live cup. Already made it. Already made the cup of coffee. Just drinking it now. Let's go on to YouTube. Make sure that everything's all set up properly. I think we're good. I need to go to Nintendo.com. Nintendo Nintendo's channel. Because everyone has their fake... Thing where they have Nintendo's logo so that they're the click that people will click videos. I'm just gonna have some random one up right now because I wanna um, make sure that this is all locked and loaded. I wanna make sure that I have the actual thing set up so that everything is, uh, is, is proportionate, okay? Vertical. Look at us. We're good. We're sitting on Easy Street. Ah, uh, solid. Solid. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, guys. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Great. Awesome. Everything's good. Everything's good. Oh yeah, bro, what coffee bean do you suggest or your daily coffee? Well, in April, I will suggest my own coffee that you can buy exclusively one time a month at the beginning of the month. Pre-orders go out the last week of the month prior. And you'll get this caffeine and consoles is coffee. It'll have a name. But until that point, until April, Mark your calendars. April, this channel has will have a coffee. Um, until then, there's a few things you can do. So you can... Um, one of my favorite coffees is from my local coffee shop called Rapport Coffee Roasters. It's called South Swell. It's very delicious. If you're not into that type of coffee, then I would say a good... If you don't want to spend the money to ship... Right, I'd say any sort of light roasted, I'm a light roast fan, okay, light roast. The reason why I like light roast isn't because I don't want coffee flavor. I very much so want coffee flavor and that's precisely why I chose light roast. Light roast allows for coffee to actually impart the flavor characteristics it's supposed to rather than a dark roast, which is saying that the, the um, roaster it's like, I'm going to make this taste a certain way. That's all dark roast is. Dark roast is, is a, a very, very cocky roaster. Coffee is not my cup of tea. ASX, I love that, baby. Cheers to you. I know. You're the person who got me on the tea and biscuits. I went out and bought a bunch of biscuits. Can you send me the brand of biscuits I should buy for my tea? Larry was coffee for the win. You do this. So that's something you have to take into consideration, too. If you're caffeine sensitive, light roasted coffee has... Um, I don't want to say it's tremendously more caffeine, but I feel like it does. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, it's pretty brutal at times. You're like, holy cow, I feel like I can see sound. Right. So, anyway, uh, I use a light roast coffee. I'm in part, I, I really like uh, Kenyan coffees, but those are very seasonal. So if you want something easy to drink, Ethiopians. I would go for an Ethiopian washed versus an Ethiopian natural. Um, or some sort of blend that includes Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Colombia is a good combination. If you have a blend that has those two, you should be good. As far as brewing it's concerned, I have a bunch of recipes that I will be releasing to you guys in PDF form uh, as a digital product once I make it. Well, complete once I finish making. 
That's gonna be a part of the channel, right? Good, fun. Uh, yeah, we got five, four minutes, guys. Four minutes left until we can start this and enjoy it together. Just had Guatemala medium roast. Tasted like warm apple cider and a delicious chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. Guats are good. The thing with guats, though, is they can very quickly taste cardboardy from my experience. And so it takes a good roaster to handle a good guat. I, I'm, I'm a guat fan. I prefer um, other varietals more, but I, I can get behind a good guat if it's done right. Unfortunately, it's not always done right. So, I usually drink medium roast coffee, but dark roast sounds good. Dark roast for me, I don't like dark roast because dark roast coffees very much like are just like these very roasty uh, things that just don't have the flavor characteristics that I want. I want something with more clarity. Plus, I have a very, very high-end grinder, <laughs> so I can get I can get those flavors out because I'm able to get the grind size and the particle size down to what it needs to do, so that I have the consistency through my particle uniformity, and also the particle size is at the point where I can get a proper extraction, a good a good leveled extraction. So, and that cardboardy taste in it when I pulled an espresso shot with it, yeah. It just doesn't have the body. It can't hold it. So then it defaults to a kind of like this, this woodsy thing that's undesirable. Not woodsy, like a good scotch, like in the nice peaty woodsy thing of like a Lagavulin or something like that. But like the woodsy of like, of, of like uh, sawdust. And so, yeah. Spro with guat is not usually the best. If you want to have a good guat spro, you're going to probably need to get a natural so that imparts some of those more um, wine-like characteristics. And so you can get some of the flavor out of it. But again, guats for spro are usually, the body just can't hold it. And so you're going to get something that's just not going to be as desirable as you would want. So, oh, uh, guys, uh, if you're here for the first time, my name is JD. I talk about video games. I'm a dad. My kids are asleep. My wife's asleep. Everyone's asleep. And I come from the perspective of I just want to maintain this hobby as long as I can and also be a good father and husband. And so if you like that narrative, that's what this place is about. All about that. If you're you know, you're like, well, I just wanted to watch the Nintendo Switch thing and you seemed like someone who has a level head. That's true. I do. <laughs> There's no sensationalism here. I, I do utilize a little bit of emotion from from pictures and stuff, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overly sensationalize stuff. I don't do that. At least I do my best not to not to. And so let's get this uh we're we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's uh see what happens here let's see what we can get let's see what we can get huh let's refresh a hundred times over is it gonna be a what is it gonna be that's the question what are we gonna deal with is it gonna be a live is it gonna be a thanks for subscribing Ricky Still waiting on it. Looks like we're at 6 a.m. Refresh, refresh. Refresh. Videos, home. Refresh. Refresh. Is it all live? No. There it is. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun. 2024. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. 
In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the first half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. All right. Okay, let's get into some headlines. Here we go. Pour your cups of coffee, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got? to survive. Get ready to embark on an enormous adventure of pint-sized proportions. There's the first. After being shrunken down at the hands of an evil corporation, you must explore a vast, There's the first one coming over from Xbox. Right Grounded. Uh. Assemble your crew and work together in online cross-platform co-op. Hey, JD, with up to me. Three friends, Get or take on the adventure solo. Gather resources to build your base and craft weapons, armor, and tools to improve. I hear that this game's fun. My buddy plays this Use all the, the time in my uh, to forage plant life. But watch in out! The Discord. You aren't alone out there. Work your way through the campaign to uncover the mysteries of the backyard, or build, share, and play your own creations in playgrounds mode. This game's incredible. Do you nice. have what it takes to make it big in this minuscule world? And fend hey, if you guys, if we got 70 people in here, if we can get the likes up to 70, I'm not going to be mad about that. I'll be so stoked if I can see that go from 20 to 70. Look at the Xbox logo. That's kind of sick. A tale of destruction and renewal unfolds in this return to the Ender Lily's world. This once flourishing country sits atop a wealth of buried magic. Xbox on Switch. Starts. Homunculi, Thanks, guys, for all the likes. I appreciate life it. Forms created as the country flourished. I'm changing the. Bring about a brighter future. All right. You just have to be a subscriber for one minute in order to chat. There we go. As Lilac, you'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside a homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. When the magic buried beneath the surface became corrupted, the citizens fled upward to escape its reach. But those who lacked power and wealth remained abandoned below. I just a sick, longer right? journey, <laughs> you'll battle rampaging <laughs> homunculi. Is it disrespectful to want to play my Steam Deck while I'm watching the this? The creations will join you on your adventure, becoming your companions and lending their aid. What awaits Lilac and the homunculi at the end of their journey? Find out when Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist launches on Nintendo Switch this year. It's weird. upper left hand corner. You guys notice it has the studios it's your now? Adventure, your way in these I mean, this Nintendo is a partner Switch showcase. Games. Explore an interconnected Whoa. world of puzzles in this charming adventure. Slide across rows and columns on a sprawling gameplay grid. I really like this. When you move, solve puzzles by venturing out into the wilderness. I'm not going to get it, but that's super cool. And taking down monsters in handcrafted dungeons. Putting one month to sleep while watching this. You too. Miguel, I love you, brother. Uh, Miguel, the world big ups is to you, man. To solve Give him a little kiss on the forehead. Ranger. A role puzzling adventure. It's brutal. Sliding onto Nintendo One month putting down. Locus in the oh, I love that. What's up, Dad? Guide Elaine, a you guys are all prince awesome. on a journey to liberate five nations from the mighty Empire's dominion. Okay. Customize your troops, form your strategy, then unleash your army on the opposing side. This Zenoyan right here forces. looks like a mobile game. Your real time strategy planning will turn the tide of it war. It looks cool, but this During looks like a mobile battle, game, right? You may get to recruit new allies or be faced with difficult decisions. Atlas and Vanillaware present Unicorn Overlord, launching on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this Switch. is Unicorn Martin. Overlord. This is one that's been announced will be available already. Today on Nintendo eShop. Originally released on the Nintendo 3DS system, the first Monster Hunter Stories game returns, now fully voiced and in HD. As a rider, you know, you'll befriend and fight alongside monsters in turn-based combat. It's your hopeful game of the year. Are you joking? That plagues the world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, you know, whatever, dude. The series are as hard as the early days Plus, are you with can the little ones, I them. Really, Justin, I, as a dad, don't take flight in Monster Hunter stories. Don't love soaring onto the Nintendo Switch system this summer. These early days. I love the moments I'm having with my daughter right now. She's three. <laughs> To March 1st, day, nice dude. Yen Sid's mischievous mirror lured Mickey Mouse into his workshop. 
It's kind of cool. Whatever this is. Finding the magic paintbrush. Ooh. A curious Mickey creates a mess. And becomes trapped in a magical wasteland inhabited by forgotten and rejected characters. The platforming adventure, Epic Mickey, returns in a faithful remake of the beloved classic. Remake. Remake. Explore remake. this unusual dimension. Remaster. Remake. Using the magic brush remake. to shape the world with paint <laughs> and paint thinner on the path to become an epic hero. Cool. Disney Epic Mickey Rebrushed launches on Nintendo Switch this year. <sighs> Next, please take a look at this. I know that Shin Megami Tensei is I'm popular. Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. I'll be counting on you to gather more intel on the matter. I suspected to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about all we know right now. Look out! Who are you? Now let's kill this thing. And so we have found it. The key to Call the me old school, right? So, but I like just a traditional point. RPG. I, I like something like Final if Fantasy. This just is this kind of stuff just doesn't cut it for me. If I'm being straight with you, dude, if I'm being honest, this just doesn't do it for me. And I'll help you get it. Allow me to remind you how you were wronged by this world. Didn't that Mickey Mouse go into open domain? Um Steamboat Willie went open domain. Mickey Mouse did not go open domain. Enter or return to this ravaged wasteland and experience an untold story on your adventure. Okay. Let's take a look at some more headlines. I'm I'm locked in. Get ready to unite and fight in these Nintendo Switch games. I'm locked in. I'm watching. Fight in iconic battles from across the Star Wars galaxy in this collection of two classic games. Up to 64 players can strike back against familiar faces in massive online battles. Oh, this that's actually sick. This collection includes additional characters such as Kit Fisto and additional maps like Jabba's Palace. Plus, battle as your favorite heroes or villains in Hero Assault. Play as Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and more on maps including Death Star and Naboo. Okay. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 14th. I have it on Steam Deck, but on Nintendo Wii Shop. That's Come on, it's a snow day. Awesome. On, Let's go, Stan. Okay. Snow day, everyone. Welcome to South Park. I played that That's game. Non-stop growing Cartman, up. Not Stan, this, because I don't really care about South Park at the all. In this co -op I played game. Battlefront Choose and Battlefront 2 non-stop growing to up. Customize your character however you'd like. Is it coming to PS5? Also, it's already on PS5. For battle. Take on oh wait, no, it's not, huh? It's only on Xbox. Or online co-op with up to three friends. Or is it on PS5 Grab too? Your gang and head into the fray in South Park Snow Day, launching on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's Snow Day, dude. I just never cared about Sharpen South Park. Sharpen your steel for the latest entry in the Sword Art Online Sword Art. series. When the virtual world goes haywire, the past and See, present collide. what I'm realizing is I'm really into Japanese RPGs, but I'm not into anime Alongside RPGs. Does that make sense? Like this. And fallen allies. Like I'm into it's Final Fantasy. I'm into the world. Dragon Quest. Experience I'm into. Experience a whole new single player um, story. You know, some of those games. Online with up to 20 players in co-op. But play. these. Sword Art Online Fractured Day Anime Dream. RPGs Launches like this Xenoblade this year. Like Just not Break, my shit. Build and battle your ultimate Gundam In Gundam Breaker 4 Choose from over 250 base kits Combine and customize their parts To build your very own mobile suit model Known as Gunpla then put your creation to the test in a variety of combat missions. That's actually kind of sick. Enemies and acquiring new parts, you can equip more abilities to craft the ultimate gunpla. 
Plus, you can show off your builds and school life sim. Dude, I I do mode. not like school Prepare life sim. battle when Gundam Breaker 4 launches on Nintendo Switch this year. This year. Let's get down to monkey business. The newest entry in the Super Monkey Ball series rolls onto Nintendo Switch. It's crazy how many games are coming to the Nintendo Switch brand new stages await with, with the expectation Using the of a new move, you can Nintendo, of some new kind of Nintendo hardware coming out. This so, this right now is just so many games. Local co -op. No dating and sims for JD. <laughs> I don't like life sims. I don't like dating sims. All that stuff, dude. Coffee shop romance or whatever. Like, it's just not. Mode. I don't like them. Grab the, falling the school in stuff. Like, that's why I didn't like Fire Emblem uh, Three it's Houses. All this school stuff was so, like, and more. not for me. Get ready to roll. This just so sells a lot. Don't want to give people the impression they shouldn't Dash. buy it. I know. And you know, I get it. In one it's just wild to me. When Super Monkey Ball Banana coffee Shop Sim, like you get to just make coffee for people. System, <laughs> I would just do it myself. Begin today on Nintendo e -Shop. Get ready for a good time. It's liquidy. It's solidy. It's Goo. It's what happens after Stretch I drink it, my coffee. Shape it and use it to build strategic <laughs> structures. Sorry, In I'm a dad, dude. Poop puzzler, jokes are so fun. You can build towers, bridges, and even it's super switch back compatible. Do you get rid of the regular switch and go all in on the super possible switch? Yeah. Into a vast global pipe distribution network. Absolutely. But where do the pipes lead? What's your Steam name, bro? Nowhere JDX Coffee. Put your imagination to the test. As you build, splash, explode, destroy, but I don't friend fly, people on these unless I know them personally. The You'll encounter so. different types of goo balls with Morning, unique Stevie. properties, including explosive goo, jelly goo, and more. Guys, it would Plus, make my heart so happy Nintendo if we got Switch to 100 version, likes you can today. Build with That'd be up to sick. Three buds Just to prove that I can still play. do it. <laughs> World of Been out of the game for a while. Launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo can we do it? Switch May 23rd. Build a life transcending time. They just uploaded Crack the Star Wars story, Battlefront Classic Collection trailer to the PlayStation the channel. Boom, dude, there it is. Fantasy life game. We're set. This once thriving is, island in the this is the classic Bavaria, collection, but is it both? Deserted. Is it one and two? Travel to the island's past to gather resources, then use them to restore the island in the present. <laughs> You'll start out by assuming one of many different roles. I'm gonna be honest, if it comes to Steam, I'm just getting it on Steam. Why not become a miner to collect ore? Because I'd rather play that handheld and I'd rather play a handheld on better monsters. hardware. It's all buy and play it as a community. Oh furniture. heck yeah, dude. You I'll buy it more than once. It's probably dirt cheap. And many more as you rebuild the island. As you travel through time, you'll gradually uncover truths about your new island home. Additionally, up to four players can journey still together steam. online, invite friends to the island, and set off to discover the secrets that lie in store. Okay. This life is yours to live in. Fantasy Life I, The Girl Who Steals Time, launching on Nintendo Switch October 10. It's time to hunt for, uh, trash? The world these days is dark and mean. Even the water Probably going to have unclean. range from 20 to 30 euros. So Need that's about 30 to 40 bucks. You all how threatening the ocean is. A bro, bro, new dad just trying to scour the depths of a polluted dads. undersea sure. world in this souls like adventure. Um, if you join Discord, <clears throat> oh, which Discord's still open. Once March 1st hits, Discord will be only members. Um, anyone who's in there will get a permanent uh, access whatever you can find getting an OG tag to but cardboard. if you During join the discord um, and we become acquaintances shell. there I it might be more likely to on, add you as a friend on some of these other platforms I'm just not a uh, 
but I'm not like, oh, hey, let's become, you know, I'm a 35-year-old dad, dude. I'm not looking we can work out to create a friends a list that on my gaming platforms. I need to make sure that every time I see a, a friend on that shelves. list, it's someone who I trust to play a good game. Magic to take down and 3 a.m. for Elden Ring expansion combat. review. What other threats lie in the ocean depths? These are all filler games. They As are indeed. They say, are we gonna get something, you know, in the next ten minutes? Another crab's treasure. Another crab's Launching treasure. Launching on Nintendo Switch, April. How much more time do we have on this thing? These Nintendo Switch games will have you dashing, dropping, and drilling. Eight more drilling. minutes. Join Penny and Yo-Yo in a brand new 3D platforming adventure from the team that brought you Sonic Mania. Dash, swing, ride, and master the cosmic strength. You know, it's probably across eleven. The Discord worlds, is a great community. Lots of great people. It is, Dave. It certainly is. Cast of bosses. Feast on power-ups to activate transformations. Help out Hell the divers too for I hear Hell divers is actually real. In a time attack mode. More for three will be dropping soon, right? Ready to yo, that would run like Penny's a dream on this. Breakaway <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch today. Barely runs anywhere else, dude, with all the bugs in it. Local two-player battles are coming as paid DLC to the fruit matching phenomenon Sweeka Game. Choose from three modes: original, time limit, and attack. <laughs> Original Aim time limit and add in original mode. Obstructed mobile version. Make split second decisions against the clock in time What's up, limit Justin? mode. And overwhelm the team at Sonic Mania. Of developers of in attack mode. are always red flags. <laughs> Plus, online multiplayer will be added to the DLC in the future. Original time limit and extra get crispy. <laughs> when this paid DLC for let's keep this going, guys. Let's, let's get weird with it, okay? Today. A Come on! Of the game and Don't make DLC me the only one. Is also available today. Just need three micro SD cards to run it. Gear up for some thrilling drilling in the 2D action platformer Pepper Grinder. Pepper Grinder. Burrow through terrain. Hey, this Pulverize actually is kind of sick. enemies in your way. And ride on gnarly vehicles to recover your missing fortune. I like this. Pepper Grinder drills its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. A demo will be available today. That's actually kind of cool. Shop. This is actually kind of that was actually kind of cool. Giddy up for a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this remastered version of Pocket Car Jockey. Take cards to create a sequence of numbers and build up power during a race. Check the positions of other horses, spend power to move around the course. And grab special cards to gain the upper Sorry. hoof. I got my face got stuck in the what Win the heck is this? Get new horses, face. then breed them to raise the next generation of ideal steeds. <laughs> you can even race online against other players. Well, this it's is a thing. To the races in Pocket Car Jockey, right? Pocket on, Car Jockey launching on Nintendo Switch today. Solitaire and horse racing? Are they just throwing darts in a list of crap? That game actually has been around for a while. This is the part of the show where they just show us a bunch of games without actually talking about them. Wait, that has been announced. Wasn't that the game that was announced a, bunch, a while ago that that guy made for his game? Demon Slayer. Interesting that it'd be a time-based game. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Guys, we're almost at 50 likes. That'd be sick. Let's do it. Who does the voicing for the Nintendo Directs? The Mario game will pop up. I don't think so. The partner direct. This is better than working. That almost wraps up this Nintendo Direct partner showcase. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. First, please take a look at this. Star Fox? Rare? Perfect Dark?
killer instinct? Okay, so this is... Last Corp, that was a fun game. These games are available today. Oh. You can play them with an active Nintendo Switch Online or Nintendo Switch Online Plus Glass Corp was X membership. Next is our last announcement. Please take a look. is yours to explore in an all-new endless ocean game welcome to the veiled sea a location known to very few people this unexplored region changes with each dive offering new things to discover up to 30 players online can plunge into the ocean's depths together Share your discoveries with other divers and exchange a friendly <laughs> greeting while freely exploring the vast ocean. Oh, well. Okay, cool. There are over 500 different species of marine life to encounter. I'm not gonna sit here and bash anything, you know, like we could easily do that. I'm not gonna be that guy. I am gonna say what I'm excited for. I'm excited for uh, the fact that NSO got some new stuff. Cool, Killer Instinct is a fun game. I'm not saying that, Evan. Switch isn't dead. Switch will never die because it has insane games what to still play. You find on your undersea journey? Discord meetup in Endless Ocean. Endless Ocean Luminous um, launches on the Nintendo Switch system May 2nd. What if it's a sixty dollar game, dude? On Nintendo eShop. Dude, let, someone go on this eShop and let me know if it's a sixty dollar game. We hope you're looking forward to exploring. Granted, was the best announcement. Maybe. Switch. That's Let's all for debrief today's from this. Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. No problem. Let's debrief. There's a couple Six. games here that I was into. One, we got Grounded. Right. Welcome to today's Nintendo. Grounded looks pretty sick. Strive That's going to be cool. Um, sits atop. There was another one, though. Remake. The Mario one doesn't. Oh, this. Right? Was it this? This. This is going to be cool. This will be fun. I loved this game growing up. Right? That's going to be fun. And then there was one of these other ones that looked kind of... Not that. Not that. Gym. This Pepper Grinder Pepper grinds its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. A demo will cool. be available today on Nintendo eShop. You know? Give me up for a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this rematch. You know, let, let's let's take cards to create a sequence. Why is this not pausing? Pause, dude. There we go. You know, like I'm just I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, the Switch is dead. It's not dead, dude. You still got great games to play. If you just picking up a Switch today, you got freaking uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Luigi's Mansion 3. Like, there's so many games to play. So, it's not dead by any stretch. For a new game, let me rephrase that. The Switch is still very, very worth it for people who wanna get one. Very much so. There are plenty of games. There are, there are dozens, dozens of games to play. I would say probably even a hundred games to play on the Switch, and it would keep you busy for all of 2025 if you got one today, okay? Um, but I will say for us who have been day one owners of the Nintendo Switch, right? I've been using the Nintendo Switch since day one. I have quite a, ba a back catalog of games that I have played, started, not finished, some games that whatever. And as someone who wanted to mainline switch for this channel and talk about it primarily, I'm realizing that 
it is currently at the end of its life cycle. Um, the the game, the Nintendo Switch itself, and what it can offer us as gaming uh, dads, right, is not much more uh, in its current state. I don't know what they're gonna release if they even plan on releasing a lot of stuff. But as a as a dad who's like, dude, I want to be able to pick up a system and go. I'm, you know, this is ruled everything, right? Right now, I'm playing through Crisis Core, and dude, just turn it on. We're already in Crisis Core, right? So I know you can play that on the Switch. Um, I have achievements on there. I have, you know, my Steam buddies on there. Like, it, there's a, a little bit better of a uh, online support, and so. Um, that direct see I'm not going to say that uh, that it the, the tech dude one because the direct had games that I know from listening to other creators talk about the direct that direct released the very games that they said they'd be excited to see so I'm not going to say that that direct sucked as far as my taste is concerned if, we're, if I'm being honest with you and uh, dude here's the deal as someone who does this and talks about this and wants to be in this space, I have two ways of going about it. I can be like, dude, that sucked. It was the worst direct ever, which will get clicks. Or I can be like, wasn't for me. And it further solidified that I'm purchasing games in the right place, right? The Nintendo Switch for me has served its purpose for the past seven years as a gaming device that I love, cherish deeply, memories on it. And now I'm at the point where it's like for purchasing games, I'm probably not gonna get it on this Switch as much because it's just not worth it yeah clearly we need new hardware it's true i'll buy star wars if it's cheap i'm i'll probably buy it elsewhere if, if i'm being you know real i came late what xbox games are coming to the switch uh grounded was the one there are games in there that fit the ha on handheld for folks that don't have a handheld pc they fit perfectly on switch <laughs> sure sure yeah Grounded coming switch to wrap it. Grounded and Pentiment. We still have plenty to play on Switch. I'm still not even close to getting the most of my Switch. Yeah, there you go, Jay. See, that's what it's grant. Um, I got the Star Wars Battlefront for PS5, because why not? There you go. It's my number one gaming system. That's fine. Yeah, and that's that's there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna probably get it. What was the price point on it? I didn't I didn't see. Do you guys see the price point on that Battlefront collection? My Switch will rest when the new one comes out. Right now, my Switch is plugged in. I want to play certain games, but I talked about this yesterday on my stream. I, I went because um, it didn't tell. Okay. Uh, keep spreading the positivity. Yeah, man. Yesterday, I wanted to stream. I was like, because I've been listening to my vinyls and I have, um I have, uh what is it? The Zelda, like, orchestrated finals are just really nice you know it's reading through this book which is ocarina of time manga pretty freaking sick dude awesome cool um and i was like man i want to play me some uh some zelda uh with a nintendo 64 controller get all plugged in right so it's getting all plugged in i was like okay let's get this thing going let's have some fun let's get a stream going with the, it's been a while um, you know, I wanted to be the Nintendo guy, so let's, you know, whatever. And I boot it up, and I start to see the spinning, like, Majora's Mask, because I was like, let's do Majora's. I haven't done Majora's. Let's do Majora's. It's spinning, and I'm like, this doesn't look the best. And so I bust out my 3DS with Majora's Mask 3D in there, and I turn it on and look at the spinning thing. I boot into the game. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is so much better. It's such a better version of Majora's Mask. And so I'm like... There's no incentive to play on the Nintendo Switch because there's no achievements, there's no memory of me playing, there's no additional anything. So I could just play it on older hardware and make it that it looks better. And I'm like, this is where I'm at with my Nintendo Switch experience. Is they have kind of finished the, like they have fulfilled the need in my gaming right now. And so now I'm looking just elsewhere for a better gaming experience. I'm getting it on PlayStation 5 and on Steam Deck personally. And no street pass, yeah. Just bought Battlefront 2 for four dollars on Xbox. I just had to, yeah, dude. Another crab's treasure. The only thing that got my attention, but I wasn't expecting much from this. Uh, and 
Game sales is where the backlog goes to die. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, 55 of you, welcome. If you're new here, um, awesome. We're at 54 likes. If we could get to 100, that'd be sick. I uh, doubt it's gonna happen. My kids are starting to wake up. Pepper Grinder look cool. Yeah, dude. Pepper Grinder for me is is gonna be the one. That's the the three games that I was um, kind of excited for is uh, Grounded, Pepper Grinder, and uh, Battlefront. You know, but none of those, if, ba if Pepper Grinder comes to uh, Steam, I'm just gonna buy it on Steam. Just joined the Discord, new to it. Oh, sweet. Nice, Lorenzo. <laughs> My backlog is relatively small. Nice, ASX. That's it, baby. Mine's not. I'm still planning on buying physical copies on Switch. Yeah, Jay, that's great. And, and there are plenty of games to play on the Switch. Plenty. Only three games left on my backlog. Oh, right on. I can't I can't say that my uh, backlog looks the same. My backlog is growing. But this wasn't... Uh, this was, Actually, you know what? As far as a, a direct is concerned, this is exactly what I was expecting. What, is it what I wanted? No, I wanted something special. I wanted to be wowed and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. But this is exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting there to be almost nothing that I personally would be excited to play, which is great. I think it's great for me because I have decided to make all of my purchases on Steam or on PlayStation. And so this kept that decision making um, going. This made me feel okay with that. I, I'm not going to be purchasing much more if anything on the switch the switch is going to get probably three more games from me one is going to be i will eventually get mario vs donkey kong physical when it goes on sale or i can buy a used copy because there's no way i'm spending 40 bucks on that game uh paper mario thousand year door i am going to do that that's two i might get princess peach maybe and I will get Luigi's Mansion re remaster, but I'm not excited to play anything but Paper Mario. And if we're being honest, all these are remasters. So the nostalgia that exists right now is just not there for me because those games weren't ones that really drew me in back in the day. Now, if they've dropped like a, a new version of Ocarina, that's great. this cool new game that's called played on pc it's called excel black back like dang that's so funny that's so good uh all right i've got to go lunch breaks over see you obsolete catch y'all on discord i didn't really have many expectations now my question for you guys we're not gonna hit the like goal and i'm gonna log out soon do you does anyone want to become a member that's the next question. Do we get one member today? One new member. We got one yesterday. Let's see if we can hold on to the one new member of stream. Who's it gonna be? We gotta get going. Have a going to have a sweet shower. If not, no big deal. I am gonna shut this down here in a couple minutes. We'll keep reading stuff. How to be a member of? Uh, you just join the channel members on YouTube. Who is it gonna be? Or who, is someone going to gift membership? Oh, interesting. That's that's the next new member or else. <laughs> we got a new one yesterday. It was kind of cool. All live streams that are at night are members only chat. Um, so members only chat will be all live streams um, moving forward that are not some special thing like this. Cups will be. Uh, Kids are up. Time to go. See everyone later. See you, Jay. Um, cups will uh, be open to subscriber, right? But all gaming nighttime streams are members only chat. And that's going to be the case moving forward because I want that chat to be the community that exists. And that's exciting. And, that, you know, it allows me to speak with those people. So it won't be, you can view it. You just can't talk in the chat unless you remember. So that is what you get. And the, join, the join button is only on PC. It's fine. No big. At, <clears throat> oh, what a great start to the day. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Um, can you play through Dark Souls games? Probably not. I do want to play through Elden Ring again, but um, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'll stream that. 
I didn't play Elden Ring all the way through the first time. It was too much for me. It's too aggressive. Uh, for the stream, so you guys know, I'm going to try to get back on some sort of schedule because I enjoy it. But um, the way that I want to do the gaming, just so you know, until if you guys see a stream from me, it's going to be Crisis Core. Uh, you guys probably won't. You might see one more and it's going to be getting through Crisis Core. The next stream, the next definitive stream is going to be Wednesday, February 28th. Like this is for sure. Wednesday, February 28th. I don't know if it's going to be starting at 6 p.m. or starting at 7 p.m., but it's going to be, uh, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo. So that is going to be a one shot. I'm going to, from start to finish that in one sitting. And then Thursday, the next day, and Friday the next day. So Thursday and Friday night. So it's gonna be three nights in a row. Thursday is going to be uh, Rebirth and Friday is gonna be Rebirth as well. So those are those two. So Thursday the 29th and Friday the, tw uh, the first are going to uh, be Rebirth. Why not stream the full game? What full game? I'm Because I, I'm gonna wanna play that game and I'm not gonna wanna sit and wait if you guys are okay with me streaming on and off, on and off, for sure, yeah. But I'm not gonna just sit and wait to play Rebirth. Saturday, Friday, Thursday, I'm gonna play it. Friday, I'm gonna play it. Saturday morning, I'm gonna wake up super early. I'm gonna play it. Sunday morning, I'm gonna wake up super early. I'm gonna play it. Like, I want to get those done. I want to actually enjoy that game. And so I don't want to save it for stream, which you have to do if you're streaming. So, yeah, I'm gonna play Rebirth demo the day before Rebirth comes out hang your heart yeah dude i'm super hyped i played through final fantasy 7 remake already done finished finito um i have to do a couple quick things in it still um i'm getting through crisis core um and then next would be rebirth yeah back to work see you jake thanks for hanging out today can't wait to see what the open world will be like same a new summon yeah <laughs> I, it's gonna be it's gonna be good it's gonna be good that's for sure My guess is the open world will be like Final Fantasy, will be Final Fantasy 16 like. I loved Final Fantasy 16. This year, um, the, the, I gotta get playback going, dude. I gotta work, Oh, I got so much to work on. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad we did a live cup today and I didn't make a cup. This gives me a little bit more breathing room to um, be creative in other ways today. But, I hear my kid, my kid's awake. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna shut it down for the day. Join the Discord before the first so that you can get in for free. And then it's gonna be members only. If you're already in, you're gonna get an you're gonna get an OG role. Okay? You're good. Alright. But that's it for me today. I'm gonna go hang out with my kid. Make sure my wife can get out the door for work. Uh yeah. That was something, huh? Stay positive, guys. Enjoy. Um, and as always, happy gaming. I had to come back, read that RE. Congrats. Congrats on be uh you can be a dad gamer. We're uh we're a proud group. We're a proud group. All right, see ya.